I mean, it's a very hopeless circle of events when you're going around to all these physicians and stuff and every single time you get so excited and you think you're gonna find something and you don't and it's heartbreaking I've been through that cycle about dozens and dozens of times now and at age 15 I realized that no doctor is gonna do anything for me I need to just take this myself. Full spectrum hemp CBD is, is it's the full plant basically. And hemp has no psychoactive properties. It's the cousin plant to the canna- cannabis plant. And the hemp plant has um, a bunch of endocannabinoids in it. And it's extremely beneficial for people with autoimmune diseases or people who have inflammation in their body. It just floors me and that's what hoop is about. And that's what we're trying to fight. The stigmatism of hemp and cbd and cannabis and showing people that this is fixing people's lives i can say with certainty that i don't know if i'd be sitting here right now if i did not have hemp cbd because i was taking a turn for the worst a few years ago and it's just done so much for my life and that's all i want to do in life is give back and help those people And also, we are trying to just market to other teens. You don't have to have rare conditions like us to get the benefits of CBD. To having our first three products, which are a cream candle, a universal serum, and a universal red clay face mask. We really like the environment, and we want to do as much as we can to help it. So all of our products are very ethically sourced. We use very clean ingredients. No, someone's opinion may contradict yours. Where's my friend Alan? It's all about your perspective. Who are we, and what is the nature of this reality? What's up, everyone? Welcome to Simulation. I'm your host, Alan Sakian. We are on site at the beautiful New West Summit, the Cannabis Tech Conference. We are now going to be talking to Sarah Baker and Kristen Price. Hello. Yes, hello. Hi, thanks for having us. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I'm so pumped for this. (laughs) You guys are the co-founders of Hoop Beauty, which is the teenage faces of CBD. What an incredible story that you guys have. I'm so excited to dive into this. And one of your other co-founders, Casey Price, is not, not, yeah, not with not us. Yeah, she's not with us today. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. This, okay, where do, we, where do we even start? I mean, like, holy cow. You have a crazy um, story. You do. You do have a... I think, I think probably the most important place that lands in my heart um, that maybe you guys can speak to is... Um, when we're born, we immediately think that, uh, you know, our, our parents think that are their children, parents first think that they themselves are going to get 80 years, and then they think that their children are going to get 80 years, and they plan everything in their lives around longevity, and, you know, but then these rare things happen, where only just a couple people in the world are experiencing this thing that can cut lives short. Yeah. And so speak, to, speak to, to that to start. Let's start there. So both Kristen and I have rare conditions. I have a rare connective tissue disorder, which makes all of my joints super unstable and everything just dislocates. It also causes problems in my heart and my blood vessels. So it kind of just like hurts my whole body, but it is what it is and yeah, we go on. Yeah. And then Kristen. And I, <laughs> I've been probably all around the country. I've been to Maryland. I've been to UNC. I've been to Duke, all these amazing world-renowned physicians to figure out what's going on with me. And I just have gotten the label of, you're rare. I am yeah. um, one of six known cases in the world of having a cluster of rare diseases, which is EDS, which is one that Sarah has, POTS, which Sarah also has. Um, mast cell activation syndrome, periodic fever syndrome, alopecia, eczema. These are just some of the things that I've been labeled with throughout my life. So the list goes on and on. Um, Sarah knows she's been along with the whole journey with me. But yeah, so we're both two very rare cases and (laughs) I know that's a lot. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) 
And this started uh, how long ago? You guys are both 17. Um, well, Ehlers-Danlos is a genetic condition, so I was born with it. However, my symptoms didn't really start to pick up until I was in middle school and I started to grow a lot more. So yeah. that's when mine started. And then Kristen's yeah. started earlier. Um, mine started a little bit earlier. It started with um, age four. Um, I had a very insane um, fever that just would not go away. And it turned into strep throat and I would get on antibiotics, would get off the strep throat, get rid of the fever, and then a week later it would be back. So it was a cycle about a year of that. And then I finally got my tonsils out. And after that procedure, everything just kind of changed. I would get eczema flares. I all of a sudden started developing all these allergies. And that was kind of the start of it. And then in middle school, I started, of course, um, going through a lot of changes and stuff. And that's when the joint pain came in and more of the fevers and the hair loss and all that. So yeah. I would say about yeah. the same time for both of us. Yes. Okay, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's a lot. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay, wow. Yeah, the, the amount of, um, of gratitude to have for healthy, um, mm -hmm. yeah, life is, is, is big. Yeah. Big. Um, but there's also just such an interesting amount of life energy that you guys both have right now, <laughs> you know? You. Yeah. Thank you, we appreciate yes. it. Yeah. And like, you know, you, you know, going and, and identifying these, like, you know, when someone that's normally in a healthy state finds themselves like sick, then they like, then they're grateful for their health. But then, but then when it's something that is, um, that you're going around to world renowned physicians and going like, you know, what is this? How can I be healthy again? And it's like, we don't know. Yeah. Uh, okay. So then you know what do you, what what happens at that point and then how do you guys find this entrepreneurial spirit that you have now yeah. So, yeah i mean it's a very hopeless circle of events when you're going around to all these physicians and stuff and every single time you get so excited and you think you're going to find something and you don't and it's heartbreaking i've been through that cycle about dozens and dozens of times now and at age 15 i realized that no doctor's gonna do anything for me. I need to just take this myself and figure something out. So I did what any 15 year old would do and I turned to Google. <laughs> <laughs> I turned to Google for help and I had a binder full of my blood tests and doctor's notes and I started Googling what my labs meant. So I started learning how to read labs. I did, um, a lot of biology work trying to figure out what's going on in my body because I didn't understand it and doctors weren't explaining it very well to me they were just like oh you're rare you're sick and mm -hmm. I was like that's not helpful yeah. so I learned how to read my labs and all that stuff and I found out that I had really high counts of white blood cells which means that there's some form of infection going on in my body that is just not being fought and I had insanely high IgE levels in the thousands normal IgE level IgE yeah Again, standing for um, some fancy words. Some fancy <laughs> words that I do not know. Let's look it up. Let's look it up. Yes. Look it up. Again, Google. Yes. yes. Again, Google All saving us. Oh, yes. Let's see. IgE uh, antibodies are normally found in small amounts in the blood, but higher amounts can be a sign that the body overreacts to allergens. Yes. Um, immunoglobin uh, glob immu immunoglobulin E. IgE. Yes. Okay. That's and what those, IgE those were is. high. Yeah, those were insanely high, high off the charts, a thousand in the thousands. Um, and my most recent IgE is decreased a significant amount. I'm in like about the 600s now, which is a huge drop. Um, showing but, that you've picked up health. Yeah, uh, showing that I've picked up the ability to fight off things on my own. And your white blood cell count also. Yes, my white blood cell, white blood cell count is now not elevated and is at a healthy level. So yeah, but I did that on my own. reading your <laughs> yeah. own labs. So I started reading my own labs and basically became my own doctor. And at age 15, I went to my parents, sat them down and I said, look guys, I don't wanna be on my medicine anymore. <laughs> I, you can't imagine what parents would say when your 15 year old daughter comes to them and says, I don't wanna be on my medicine anymore. So my dad looked at me and was like, okay, let's figure something out. And my mom, of course, just started crying and was like, so 
said what? So you, <laughs> what did you say now? I was being put on anti-malaria drugs, chemotherapies, um, experimental trials, creams, lotions, everything you can imagine I tried. Damn. And I was done with it. Wow. So I did research like I did before and I found hemp CBD. And my mom contacted one of her good friends, Kyle Turley, who um, is the CEO of NeuroXPF. And he was like, Jen, we're going to figure this out. So Who's he. your mother? Yes, yes. Jen is my mother. Um, so he told her and that. And your mother was already in. Yes, yeah, um, she was in, already in, in the, the industry, industry beforehand. Yeah. Um, so Kyle reassured her that we could figure this out together. And he sent over about three bottles of his soft gel caps from his company, NeuroXPF. And I was kind of worried to get my hopes up again, but I was like, you know what? We're gonna try, we're gonna give it a shot. Three months later, I'm going to get my wig styled for prom. Cause at this point I'd lost 60% of my hair. And I sat down in the hair salon and the woman just kind of looked at me confused and was like, where's your alopecia? Can you please point it out to me, sweetie? And oh, you can imagine the outrage when I'm holding a wig and this woman's telling me I don't have alopecia. Mm -hmm. So she's like, no, 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 sweetie, you really don't have alopecia. So she t hands me a mirror, turns me around, and I have one inch of new hair growth in Whoa. all my spots. <laughs> and that was the day. How many days in or weeks in were three you? Three months in to taking three CBD. Three months in. Yeah. And an inch of hair growth yeah. has come back. Yeah. Yeah. So that's when I. When did you retest your labs? Uh, I retested post? my labs actually very recently. Okay. Um, so we, how many months or years now? I'm two years into taking CBD now. Oh, and Sarah? I started in the spring of 2018 when my hand okay. suddenly went numb and I could not move it at all. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yes, you were yes. telling me about the story. So this, yes. so this, you're now about a year and a half. Correct. And, and you too. Okay, so yes. let's go through this um, yes. as well. Okay. So with my Ehlers-Danlos and my connective tissue disorders, I have just some like unexplainable things that happened to me, such as my hand going paralyzed for three months. And I went to so many doctors. I went to a neurologist. I went to a pediatric neurologist. I went to... I don't even know what their titles were because they were just supposed to be the specialists in their field. And while I did get some help from some of them, I ultimately got um, a referred to a psychologist because they told me that it was all in my mind, which you can imagine I was not very happy because it was my dominant hand and I'm in high school and I need to be able to do my homework and my left hand is not very good at doing handwriting. so. I was just starting to lose hope because I went to all these doctors that were supposed to know what was going on with me and like how I was going to get help and I just wasn't getting the help that I needed. And I've been best friends with Kristen since we were in kindergarten and this was shortly after she started NeuroXPF and her mom, she found out, or my, our parents were talking and Jen was like, you know what, Sarah needs to get started on CBD. And at first I was kind of like, what? What? And yeah. I automatically... Were you also taking a bunch of different... Unfortunately, like, there's no cure for Ehlers-Danlos, so I wasn't taking any medicine. I was just dealing with the symptoms day by day, which is hard because it comes with lots of chronic pain, and sometimes I can barely make it to school. So it's just really hard to live my everyday life. And so after I heard about CBD, I was kind of weary because I was like, hmm, I don't really know what to expect just because there's not a lot of information out there and like not a lot talked about just because it is kind of controversial. And I did my own research and I was like, you know what? I can't even move my hand. Why am I thinking this isn't going to work? Like I've tried everything. Nothing has worked. So what do I have to lose? And then shortly after that, my hand started moving and now I can move my hand kind of normal. It's not completely, but it is a lot better than it was before. And my pain levels have gone down a lot, which has been super helpful. And last year, actually, I got two orthopedic surgeries and I was bedridden for so long because I was just in so much pain and now I'm feeling better. So, yeah. Whoa. So this is also uh, interesting that 
a physician's uh, mainstream uh, m are not uh, aware of the potential mm -hmm. of what uh, cannabis yeah. Yeah. can provide for uh, all different types of, of health and wellness yeah. benefits. Mm -hmm. uh, and all the way at the most rare um, in instances of, of health issues that there can be something like you can't literally can't write all the way to mm -hmm. being able to gain mobility or like yes. when not being able to like get up and yeah. go. It's not being it's amazing. trained yeah. in it versus just having a phone call. Moms, mm -hmm. it was also crazy that you guys were kindergarten, started to be best friends yes. in kindergarten yes. and neither one of you knew at that time mm -hmm. that you had um, a rare. Oh, no, yeah. you really believe everything happens for a, for a reason. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a crazy story. Yes. Yeah. And then moms are talking on the phone, and then it's like, mm -hmm. now try what yeah. we're trying. And yeah. So how many um, how many months in did it take before you regained? Um. So it started in April, and then by June, I didn't have problems writing or two holding things. Two months? Yeah. That's it. Yeah, and, and, and at two guys, months, yeah, it so wasn't what? completely, but as I continued taking it, it did get better as time went on, so. And um, now walk us through um, the, what are you guys doing in terms of which uh, cannabinoids, which um, dosage, how often are you taking it? Uh, yeah, walk us through, and you yeah. guys are still doing soft gel, mm -hmm. and then we'll talk about your own business. Yeah, yeah, totally. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we are taking, both of us take the same product, NeuroXPF soft gel caps. Um, I take, I take a very high dosage. I take, um, 400 milligrams twice a day of these soft gel caps. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm on a... 400 yeah. milligrams twice a day. Yeah. I'm on a very high dosage of, um, Holy CBD. Cow. Yeah. And it's full <laughs> spectrum hemp CBD that I'm taking. So, uh... Full spectrum hemp CBD. Yes. Is what you're taking too. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So, well, I guess like okay. First, let's let's talk about um, uh, f full spectrum hemp CBD. So, teach us about what that is. Um, what hemp sp full spectrum hemp CBD is is it's the full plant basically, and hemp has no psychoactive properties. It's the cousin plant to the can cannabis plant and the hemp plant has um a bunch of endocannabinoids in it and it's extremely beneficial for people with autoimmune diseases or people who have inflammation mm -hmm. in their body i found out about hemp cbd from my dad um he kyle turley was actually one of his nfl players that he treated when he was in the mm -hmm. nfl mm -hmm. so yeah and kyle started neuro, neuro, XPF. neuro xpf yeah after also, in, in yes. injur in, was yeah, injury? Yeah, he, um, Kyle has chronic traumatic encephalopathy, which is usually diagnosed post-mortem in NFL players who have yeah. taken chronic oh. blows to the head. Um, and it causes a variety of neurological issues and pain issues and all this stuff. So Kyle and his wife, Stacy Turley, started this company to help um, manage his symptoms that are coming up from this disorder and um, he reached out to my dad and told him what he was doing because my dad had a lot of neurological issues from being in the NFL and like being a head athletic trainer so once again you meet people for a certain reason certain people always come into your life for a certain reason and I believe that wholeheartedly yeah whoa okay and then um, so so specifically, um, full spectrum hemp CBD used uh, in many ways for uh, 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 autoimmune yes issues. Autoimmune inflammation, joint pain, um, rheumatoid arthritis, arthritis conditions, um, and also it's very beneficial used topically on the skin. This is. So the, you just listed, I feel like, what a lot of people don't necessarily know is a possibility yes. to solve some of their issues that could be really helpful that mainstream culture is not necessarily talking yes. about. Yes. And the pharmaceutical industry maybe is also not necessarily trying to help 
uh, distribute that knowledge around. Yeah, a hundred percent. It's just so heartbreaking to me because I'm prescribed steroid creams for my skin, but I can use my cream candle from Hoop, my company, and it clears it up in one day. One day. Yeah. Your yeah yeah your product Easy. now yeah. your it's, product now. it's abs- our yeah. product now. It's insane to say that too. It's two <laughs> years in the making. We'll get yeah. into that later though, but it's Whoa. it's amazing. I just whoop. oh yeah. There's a there's a motion <laughs> uh, sensor that I have to trigger it's back good. on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, it's just so sad to me that steroids are being thrown around. The amount of times that I've gone to the emergency room, agonizing pain, and all they hand me is an oxycontin or an oxycodone pill and say, this is all we can do for you. Sorry, we can give you a prescription if you want, by the way. I just, it breaks my heart. Handing a teenage girl, a 15-year-old who's coming to your ER, crying that she's in so much pain, and you are handing her a prescription for pills that people are getting addicted to that are causing a crisis in this country. It's, it just floors me and that's what hoop is about and that's what we're trying to fight, the stigmatism of hemp and CBD and cannabis and showing people that this is fixing people's lives. I can say with certainty that I don't know if I'd be sitting here right now if I did not have hemp CBD. Because I was taking a turn for the worst a few years ago. And it's just done so much for my life. And that's all I want to do in life is give back and help those people. (laughs) My nervous system, my whole body just like, uh, just like, you know, just... (laughs) <laughs> should like this is just it's just um it's nuts when you think about the like giving the young children that are in pain um yeah uh, it's the most heartbreaking yeah. thing on the planet and every time i talk about it it gets me tripped up a little bit because there's some people that choose to take those pills and they go down a wrong path and they fall into addiction and that's what's happening in this country is people who are in pain it's, I, I've seen it firsthand with people who I've known, and it's absolutely heartbreaking, and I have refused to take them. I've never, never done it because I just see how hard this industry is fighting the opioid crisis now. Yeah. And it just hits a little bit too close to home. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so where did then, uh, as you guys are both um, starting to, to, to uh, receive great health and wellness benefits, um, when did it click for you guys to start your own business? So as Kristen was saying earlier, when she got her prom wig styled, she had something go off in her head like, why isn't this happening for other people? And then she called me and she's like, you will not believe what happened. And I had been there over Christmas because I live in Kansas City. She lives in North Carolina. So we only get to see each other twice a year. So I can kind of tell like when things aren't as good as others because I haven't seen her for a while. So I can see how things are changing. And at Christmas, she was probably like, probably the worst that I've seen her. And she was just like not herself and I could tell that there just she just wasn't acting like herself and then she told me about how she was losing all of her hair and I knew that that was something that was bothering her because like as a teenage girl your self-esteem already isn't very good and then when you have other things on top of that that are hindering that it's just not easy and then she called me and she was like Sarah I was like yeah my hair is growing back. And then slowly but surely, we came up with hoop. Mm -hmm. And she was like, okay, do you want to join me on this? And without even thinking, I was like, "Uh, yes, of course I would. And then Kristen, her older, or Casey, her older sister, she has seen us grow up and she has seen us struggle. And in a way, she has struggled with us just because she has had to see us firsthand and how we've kind of been going down these health problems and she was like I'm gonna help you guys too so as a team Mm -hmm. us three have created something yep 
So, whoa, okay, so what is it now, um, like out of all of the possibilities that you can do, um, because obviously the, the explosion of, of, of cannabis out into the world is happening, how do you guys identify what you want Hoop Beauty to do? Yeah. So many possibilities. And, yeah. and you guys both have a stories that uh, catalyze a great amount of further people seeing the health and wellness benefits. So do you guys maybe have that as one of your main like pillars to help people see it as something that can help with health and wellness? Um, yeah. Is, yeah, specifically maybe even for the same issues or similar issues that you guys Yeah, have. we are really marketing Hoop as a full-on wellness brand, beauty and wellness. And in this space, um, we're trying to just get our story out there mm -hmm. and trying to get teens that are suffering from the same things as we do, like that knowledge and just to know that there is hope and hoop actually means hope in Dutch. So hoop that- Means hope in Dutch. Yes, so that's the story behind the name. And we just wanna share that same hope that both of us felt that and you're day. also jumping through hoops in yes. order to achieve yes. your yes. health and wellness and success. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there's just a ton of metaphors behind hoop mm -hmm. and so much um, work that's been put in. So many hours of me, Casey, and Sarah yes. sitting in um, Casey's bedroom floor doing mood boards mm. and setting up, fantasizing about what we want hoop to be. And it's just crazy to be at this place now where we're at New West Summit and we have mm. physical products, but it's just amazing. And we really want to just take Hoop in the direction to show teens that you can take control of your own health mm. yeah. and that I'm living, both of us are living proof that there's hope out there. Yeah. And also we are trying to just market to other teens. You don't have to have rare conditions like us mm -hmm. to get the benefits of That's CBD. Right. So yeah. it's just, been a learning experience for both of us and we've also been able to educate our friends because at first glance or first like when they first hear what we're doing they're like uh yeah. you're doing what mm -hmm. and then what? we yeah. have to explain to them like what we're actually doing and now people are like super excited for us and everybody's been texting us this yes. weekend being like oh my gosh I'm so excited can we get some samples when at the beginning everybody was kind of like yeah. What? What are yeah. you doing? So it's been really interesting seeing firsthand like how people's thoughts have changed when they've yeah. let themselves have an open mind. Yes. So that's been really interesting too. Yeah. It's been crazy to see even throughout the past three years how it's people's perspectives have changed on the use of CBD and the use of cannabis. I um, remember first telling my friends that, <laughs> guys, I am starting my own company they were all like, what are you doing, Kristen? You are a sophomore in high school who barely shows up to school. How are you gonna start a company? And I was like, just watch me, I'm gonna do it, guys. And they're like, what's the company gonna be about? I said, it's gonna be a CBD brand. They said, oh, so you're just into like smoking now. I'm like, what? Like, that just floored me. And that day, <laughs> sophomore year, I was like, my goal for the rest of my life is going to be to educate people so no one thinks that. Mm -hmm. And I still get occasionally, like, those comments, like, oh, you just must be a stoner. Or, oh, oh, you must be this, this, and this. And I'm like, no. I am just passionate about sharing the powers of hemp. And I will do all I can to educate you and help you understand so you can get it too but now all my friends are they've tried the samples they've tried everything and everyone's just so excited mm -hmm. and it's really nice to feel like that love now it's been a great shift in perspective throughout the past few years and yes. yeah it's crazy and also with our generation social media is a big thing yes. so before we even had products we were growing our social media following and really just putting our name out there as well as all of the benefits of CBD because people don't know them. They just automatically assume like, oh, you're getting high when no. we're not. No. That's not what we're doing. We're just trying to help other people get the same benefits as we did. And unfortunately, we had to go through some health 
battles on the way. But if that is what we have to go through to help other people, then we're all for uh, it. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. So, yeah. You, you are you are moving the the window of of what's called like the Overton window of or like 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 acceptable societal cultural opinions. Mm-hmm. You're like moving the window more towards progress, like yeah. where mm-hmm. it's not just immediately that someone's thinking that oh you're just like stoners, but that there's like a deeper uh, reasoning why um, there's like a tremendous amount of of of, uh, of health and wellness benefits that arise from the things that you're actually building into the world now um, okay so now like how did you pick what uh, products to make and what are those products where are they available uh, yeah is this mostly gonna be sold online mm-hmm. or um, yeah through you know Instagram and, <laughs> and TikTok now. <laughs> TikTok, yeah. So when we first started taking CBD, there weren't a lot of products that we would use ourselves like in our everyday life. So part of like our influence was just what do we want? Like yeah. what, because we're teenage girls and we know what other teenage girls would want. So like what is something that we would use in our everyday life and how does hemp CBD improve our lives and how can we improve other people's lives through the products that we want? Yeah. We did about a two-year brainstorming process before anything was made. <laughs> mm-hmm. And the amount of different product ideas that we went through, some absolutely insane. Pretty funny, now yeah, mm-hmm. pretty funny that we're looking back at them now. But um, we went from wanting to do, like, diffusers and, like, all these crazy ideas to having our first three products, which are a cream candle a universal serum and a universal red clay face mask and i'm going to touch on a few of them and sarah will touch on a few of the products but um our all of our products are full spectrum hemp cbd which is amazing full plant full everything and the serum is great for dry skin and great for oily skin and it's just an amazing product all around. Uh, It's helped with my skin so much. I suffer from eczema still to this day, and it's just a very sensitive, nourishing product, and yeah. And then we also have a cream candle, which we're both super excited about. We love it. And it comes in this little jar, which is also super cute. And um, inside is a cream, but it kind of looks like a candle, and there's a little wick. And when you light the wick, then the cream melts and turns into the super nourishing, like, oil. oil, And it's just amazing. And then there's a little spout on the end of the the thing, and you pour it into your hands. And if you're having pain or if you just want dry, if you want, (laughs) if you have dry skin, you can just rub it in, and it works miracles it is crazy and also since we both deal with chronic pain the warmth of the Mm. candle also Mm -hmm. helps with inflammation because he decreases inflammation so we also get that benefit on top of the benefits of cbd which is crazy what a unique uh experience design that you Mm -hmm. went through to figure i think that it's very helpful for us that we have been through the things that we have and that we're both like the same pe- like we're both teenage girls and we're catering towards teens because there's not a lot of products out there that are like we can use for our everyday life and we saw that and we used our pro- or the problem and turned it into a company which is yeah. crazy yeah. this this also this just people love to do things like engage with their like product yeah. in mm-hmm. yeah in 100%. like because you can do something cool like yeah. light it yes. and then have it melt and then take that and pour it while it's yeah. warm i think that's a very unique and then when it's you blow it out it solidifies again and yeah. You, 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 yeah it's an experience every time it becomes like yeah. a ritual yes exactly too. that's a yeah it's, it's brilliant Thank it you. Yeah. 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 It um we worked with our formulator Wendy from Sunabis um on this product for months and months and months and formulating it and trying different scents and all this stuff but we finally found um three scents that we love. We have lavender rose, um citrus and our eucalyptus scents. So cool. amazing. Yeah. And we were we had to like really, really work on the sense and stuff like that because yeah. it can't be overpowering for people with eczema and stuff like that mm. Um, mm. and psoriasis. Mm. Yeah. So it's a very just, 
I've never seen anything like wow. it. So it's just absolutely amazing. So very that, like just a faint. Yeah, just of just a faint, faint. scent. Yeah. yeah. And the pottery is also amazing. It's um, from a pottery place out here in San Francisco. Everything's locally sourced. Mm. And mm. yeah, so very, very innovative. And then the um, sourced uh, through the website right now or through what platforms are you guys? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah right now, um, this is our soft launch. So we don't have products available at the moment, but we do have our samples. And by mm -hmm. quarter one of next year, we're hoping to have our products on the website. Okay, excellent. Yes. Okay, great. And so, um, and that's going to be web and also through social distribution, yes. through social yes, media. Yes, 100%. Okay. okay. And cool. possibly um, being available at a few different stores. Retail. Yes, store possibly a few too. different retailers, but cool. we're not sure at the moment, but we know for certain it's going to be on our website, which yeah, is hoopbd.com. Yeah, okay. Um, one more time on website domain name. Um, hoopbeauty.com. Hoopbeauty.com. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. So um, link in the bio for all for everyone, link in the bio, hoopbeauty.com. So go and check that out and potentially um, uh, if this is uh, um, uh, out by the time that you guys will um, have those yes. yeah, the products, please go and you know support them. and. Um, and so again, so the so the, the third so the candle, mm -hmm. yes. Then the this top the topical. Yes, topical. the universal serum, and then okay. we have our um, universal red clay face mask powder. Clay, yes. Red clay face yes. mask. Yes, powder. this okay. product, this and the serum, so dream excited. team, yes. amazing products. The powder is such an innovative thing that I've never seen before. It's actually what makes it universal is that we have different recipes that you can use for the face mask. So if you have more oily, acne-prone skin, you can mix a ratio of the face mask with apple cider vinegar, which mm. is very antimicrobial or honey, mm. and that helps fight acne. Or if you just want the benefits of CBD, mix it with water, olive oil. Aloe vera is an amazing one for dry skin, which I love. Yeah, so those are just a few of our samplings of recipes that we've came up with with our formulator, Wendy, and everyone has just loved the face masks so far. So, yeah. Cool. Okay, three products on the line already. That's <laughs> yes, so cool. very exciting, yeah. very exciting. Okay, and then um, let's talk um, about just, like, you guys are 17, like a lot of people. Like, I really like the idea of young people finding alternative paths um, of their future, like, rather than necessarily filing into the same, like, line of, like, oh, I don't really know what I care about, but I'm still going to go to college and hopefully figure yeah. it out, you know. So I just feel like, you know, the society is very, um, very, uh, in a sense slowly but sometimes also quickly opening up to the idea of new paths um uh, uh, for people's future so what do you guys think uh you know where do you guys think what do you guys think you're gonna do you know being seniors now yeah. and graduating do you guys think that um going full on into business mode or like mm -hmm. doing business and college trying to do that or you know how yeah. are you guys, what are you guys gonna figure think? yeah so right now my plan is is i'm applying to eight different schools and i'm going into entrepreneurship and business um so mm -hmm. to continue on hoop and get a business degree hopefully um yeah so i'm not sure what college i'll be at right now but hopefully in the next few months i'll know and that'll no, be no, yeah, something yeah. very exciting to announce yeah yeah and I, as well, would like to go to college. And my ideas are a little bit different. I want to go into medical school because I have firsthand seen the problems with patient and doctor experiences. And I want to be the doctor that I wish that I had when I was this age and even younger because I have had some really hard experiences and some hard doctor's appointments where I just left crying because I just didn't think that they understood what I was going through. So I want to be that person that I wanted to have when I was younger that truly believes the patients and knows what's best rather than being like, oh, we don't know. Go to a psychologist. Mm -hmm. We don't know what's wrong with you. There's probably something in your head. So I just want to be an advocate for my patients. and. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just really excited. Maybe to for the medical community at large. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah, yeah. exactly. Interesting. So on the business side and mm -hmm. on the medical side, this will be yeah. this will be, that's cool. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, and then now also being um, you know younger and seeing kind of like what the Generation Z is currently up to, um, I wonder what um, your thoughts are on just uh, the biggest 
challenges that humanity is facing at large. Um, we have, you know, very much so like global coordination around um, climate, global coordination mm -hmm. around uh, geopolitics and making sure that countries can learn how to, um, how to collaborate well and that we have artificial intelligence that's entering into almost every single sector. So where do you, what do you guys think uh, about that and also about your friends that are your age that are also do they, how do they talk about these things? How do they engage with uh, the activism around these things? Yeah. So as a company, we're really, we're trying to do everything as ethically as possible. And we, us three, are very, we really like the environment and we want to do as much as we can to help it. So all of our products are very ethically sourced. We use very clean ingredients because there are some products out in retailers that probably aren't the best for the environment. And we want to do, it might not be a huge impact, but we want to do what we can do to help the environment and stuff. Yeah. And um, another thing is is that also with helping with the environment and stuff like that, our other co-founder, my sister Casey Price, um, she is the epitome of <laughs> like a, a hippie, basically. She loves the environment, cares for it so much. She does yoga she just she's an amazing person I really wish she was here but um she has cared so much about the environment and gone to Costa Rica to say like save sea turtles mm -hmm. and do trips like that and she the one thing that she fights for so much is climate change and the environment and trying to save our oceans and our planet and she was like over my dead body where will our company not be eco-friendly and um, have clean ingredients and not test on animals or anything like that. Um, yeah, so we do our best to be a very mm -hmm. ethically um, sourced company like that. Yeah. But there's just so many more issues going on in our world too right yeah. now with like political climate and the vape crisis and the opioid Did crisis. Did you say the vape crisis? Yes. So th this is something I think that many people are really not familiar with. Is this about like the Gen Z's using vapes? Yes. On, as like an a, like addictive to, to yeah. using vapes? Yeah. There's um, a huge, huge stigma around jewels and all that kind of stuff. And I've just seen firsthand so many of my friends yeah. and so many people go down the path of using nicotine once again. Jewel is getting a new generation hooked on nicotine. And the amount of times that the three of us have been advocates and trying to help those in our community who are suffering from severe nicotine addictions now and are now facing the consequences um, of being in the hospital and having um, lung issues and these people have the equivalent of the lungs of people who are in World War I with mustard gas. So this is something that I am very passionate about um, fighting and combating and unfortunately it's coming back to bite the cannabis business in um, the butt basically because people are now like oh well dab pens and THC and vapes are causing like mm -hmm. things so why should I be using this still now yeah. so now yeah. the cannabis industry is taking a hit with it and I just try to do my best to stay educated on ideas like this to keep to keep in the loop and I think it's so important that teens are educated because mm -hmm. the amount of people that I've told like hey guys like they just found out that like rats are dying, like test ma mice are dying now that like have been doing, like being used as lab rats to be testing the jewel products, they're all dying. Like, and the amount of friends that I've had just shrug their shoulders and be like, I but like this, cool. but it's cool. I like this mint creme brulee flavored <laughs> USB that I'm like, like that, okay. yeah, it's, it's something I'm, I'm very passionate about combating. It's just, it's a big, uh, it's a big deal to hear this from you um, because uh, uh, in a sense, I kind of uh, act as, as a bridge just being 10 years older than you. Yeah. Um, and, um, I vibe with a lot of the Gen Z 
uh, spirit and I also vibe with some of the um, older peeps as mm -hmm. well and so for me to also be able to help communicate to them what um, is going through uh, the young people um, with this is, is really important because uh, to them they also remember like you said another generation because for them it was marketing uh, freedom sticks uh, freedom torches you know f the f the cigarettes were about empowerment and all these other types of marketing strategies yeah. uh, and now it's the same thing with uh, it's just cycling again we see it's mm -hmm. a cycles happening again yeah. uh, again this cool um, and so yeah when when people don't have the um, the full ability to consciously reason um, their uh, their their health choices can deteriorate like that wow um, thank you for bringing that one up and it, it triggers me in some ways to also fight on behalf of these causes mm -hmm. like you know like you guys uh, to be eco-friendly like your sister like you were describing as well so um, I'm glad that that seems to be the trend all of the future Gen Z businesses will all have some sort of va values yes. mission yeah. I hope vision. so yeah um, just a couple um, quick thoughts on the way out um, we like asking this question to all the people that we feature on the show do you guys think that we're in a simulation <laughs> you want to touch on that one? I don't know. I mean, that's a really <laughs> great question. Like, are we? I can't say I know myself. <laughs> I wonder about this. Is like a great question, actually. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, that's a loaded. Question. That's a loaded question. Okay, an easier one is uh, maybe. Could be harder. <laughs> what do you guys think is the most beautiful thing in the world? I think love is the most beautiful thing in the world. Just having the ability to care that much for someone mm -hmm. else and putting them before you, and that goes for relationships and friends and all that stuff. I just think love is what is saving our planet. I 100% agree. Yeah. yeah, and just whether that be loving the environment, yeah. loving your, loving the environment, or loving your friends, your family, just it's important. Yeah. Yeah. That's another one. Hopefully, that young people just pick that yeah. love, and that will catalyze yeah. the big change in the future that we hope to see. Yeah. Let's let's wrap. Thank you so much for yes. coming on the show, yes. Sarah. Thank you thank so you. much. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's amazing you getting both. to talk with you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for coming on the program. You're yes. so inspirational. <laughs> thank you. Thanks everyone for tuning in. We greatly appreciate it. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below on the episode. Yeah. Let us know what you're thinking. Check out the links in the bio below to Hoop Beauty. I'll check out the links below to New West Summit. Support the artists, mm -hmm. the entrepreneurs, the organizations, the leaders around the world that you believe in. You can support Simulation. Our links are below as well. And go and build the future, everyone. Manifest your dreams into the world. We love you very much. Thank you for tuning in, and we will see you soon. Bye. Peace. <laughs>